All right, guys, welcome back. Not back, just welcome to another. We're going to a walkthrough of Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag on the Xbox One. Uh, this game's been out for a while, so I'm sure it's not relevant anymore. But I still want to do it just for fun, shits and giggles. Uh, so bear with me. Whatever. I I I have played a little bit of. God damn, I gotta sign in. I have played a little bit of the missions. Uh, just maybe like the second mission, because uh, I didn't want to look like an idiot, and I was really anxious to try the game before I got a chance to record. So it's not an entirely blind walkthrough, uh, but most of it is pretty blind. So. Yeah. This is it. Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Xbox One. Let's go. There we go. You might hear a little bit of echo from the television. Uh, that's just because there's still no headphones, no turtle beaches for the Xbox One. So that tends to be a little bit annoying, but I'll try to deal with it as best as I can. And I'm gonna shut up now. I don't want to talk during cutscenes. That's a good start, got stuck in the, in the cold. Very important that you do that when you play the game. Yeah, I know. Oh, come on, fuck off. So I wonder how long they planned out to include the naval system in Assassin's Creed 3. And then have it made a whole game of pirates. They probably... oh shit. I mean, they knew about this game probably before they started Assassin's Creed 3. So I'm, I'm guessing that it was all planned. Which is pretty cool for them. Uh, also a ballsy move considering that they knew they would like the naval system. I've yet to be let down by an Assassin's Creed game. I'm hoping this one won't be the first. Assassin's Creed 3 was a little bit better. Is it dangerous? Edward? Hmm? Privateering? Is it dangerous? Wouldn't pay so nice if it weren't. Well, why not sail with the King's Navy? Earn a proper wage? Sail under gentlemen? Sod the Navy's gentlemen. For every shilling I'd earn, the captain gets 600. That's no way to earn a fortune. We don't need a fortune. <laughs> it's not about need, Caroline. I want food that don't make me sick. I want walls that hold back the wind. I want a decent life. H how long would you be gone with these privateers? A year, I reckon. Two at the most.
All right. No more than two. Promise me. Not gonna lie, I'm gonna. Oh, never mind. So I was saying, I would actually be pretty disappointed if they don't ex include like at least a Pirates of the Caribbean reference here. Maybe it's a Captain Jack Sparrow reference somewhere. But I'd be very sad if they don't do it. It would break my tiny little heart into. It'll be a wasted opportunity, to be honest. Just have someone go, where's the rum gun? Good for you as well. Havana. I must get to Havana. Well, I'll just build us another ship, will I? I can pay you. Isn't that the sound you pirates like best? One hundred Eskimos. Keep talking. Will you or won't you? You don't have that gold on you now, do you? <laughs> Bloody fucking pirates! <laughs> I'm on to you, Sneaksby! Alright, let's find this guy. So yeah, I did play through this. On, I did mate. not pay We're attention to any start. of the cutscenes though. So I don't know what the fuck is going on in the game. Which is good. Uh, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm very excited for this game. Assassin's Creed 3 disappointed me a little bit. Because the story was pretty good. And the gameplay was good. But the ending was not as good as it could have been. Connor's story was pretty good. No spoilers. I'll try not to do any spoilers. But uh, I just felt like it was rushed. Uh, story written. Like Ezio's Trilogy, that was the best storyline for any Assassin's Creed game. Uh, to the point that where I finished the game Revelations, I didn't want to play as Ezio anymore. And like, I, that story was done. And that was it. Uh, I didn't get that with Connor or Desmond. I thought that their endings were a bit shit, really. Feel free to disagree with me in the comments, since I'm sure most of most of you will if you actually watch this. But you know, just saying. Assassin's Creed Three could have been a lot better. Did enjoy the Civil War. I mean, the war, the war for independence, not the Civil One. Sorry. That was a pretty good place to be. Now oh, there's that bitch. Where's he running to? So I'm actually curious if you are watching this. Uh, since I'm new at this, I just want to know how you found the channel and if you're liking it so far. Oh, I'm gonna skin a set of fox. Yep. No, that was a pig. Never mind. Uh. If you're watching this, I would actually like to know how you found the channel, because it's it's kind of weird for people to watch someone relatively unknown do this. Uh, and if you like, please do the subscribing thing and the liking thing, and I'll be very grateful. And I love you forever. As long as I don't have to, like... Never mind. That was a bad joke I was going to say. Might cut that out. Uh, where the fuck do I need to go? See, I've played this beginning like three times and I still get confused in this fucking island. Come on. I 
I gotta tell you, one thing about this game, it is fucking beautiful. There we go. Oh, that was where I was, wasn't it? Yeah, god damn it. Fuck. Alright, let's do this. Man, I ran through this so well the last time I played it. What the fuck is going on? We could work together on this. Nah. I can't believe that he just took a bullet like that and just kept running. Maybe the bullets are with shite. They didn't go through leather very, leather very well. So. It's a fucking bullet and the dude just flinched. I'm also gonna. I also got Dead Rising when I got the extra one, so I'm probably gonna. Oh, I'm gonna kill him. Hmm. That wasn't hard at all. Uh, I love the sword fighting in this game. Double swords. That is fucking awesome. Senor Duncan Walco, I accept your most generous offer and await your arrival with eagerness. If you truly possess the information we desire, we have the means to reward you handsomely. Though I will not know your face by sight, I believe I can recognize the costume made infamous by your secret order. Therefore, come to Havana in haste, and trust that you shall be welcomed as a drum. <laughs> Such bullshit throwing away that. Throwing away that fucking hand blades. Mr. Walpole, let's collect your reward. I do hope that this guy has a little something more to fight for than just money. Like all the other assassins had something to fight for. Uh, I think that was to keep, like, save the world, Altair, essentially. Ezio was the same thing, and to, like, keep his family honor, revenge. Connor was, like, independence and safe safety for his people. This guy is just like, nah, I want money, son. I just, I just wish. It, it, it increases in complexity. I'm supposed to be sneaky here, but... Fuck that. Son of a bitch, he shot me. Alright, come on. Get this over with. Nice. Anything you like. Ouch. All right. By God's grace, sir, you saved me. A profusion of thanks. Is that yours? It is my vessel, yes. But uh, here lies its poor captain. 
And I have no art for sailing. I can pilot her myself, not mind. You don't mean to abscond with my ship, do you? I'm Duncan. What's your name, friend? Steed, Steed Bonnet. Well, Mr. Bonnet, let this stay twixt us. But I'm on a secret errand for His Majesty the King, God save him, and I must get to Havana with speed. Ah, oh, that is a relief, sir. Havana is also my destination. Our ways lie together. Natural allies, then. Ah, you put me at ease, sir. To think I took you for a pirate when you first appeared. Did you? Yes. You have an uh, uncommon way of handling yourself. Quick and easy, if I may say. Gave me quite a fright. But, all things considered, I think it's turned out to be a rather fortuitous day, hasn't it? So I was saying before, before I totally forgot about it. I'm also gonna do a uh, Dead Rising three we'll series. Uh, probably gonna do it in nightmare happen. mode. I'm playing through the story in that, uh, just because I couldn't wait to get it done. And I'm gonna do that in nightmare mode. See how that goes. Apparently, it's supposed to be very hard. And Dead Rising is one of those games that, even if you play it through once, you can never really play it the same way. So, it doesn't really matter if I played it before, I just have to rewatch all the cutscenes. Uh, but yeah, Dead Rising 3, super great game. Uh, Assassin's Creed 4, I'm looking forward to this, the story in this one. I'll probably do another throwback series. Uh, for Metal Gear Solid and Dragon Age 2, because those, those are games that I really enjoy. I'll probably go back and play through some of my favorite games, like Mass Effect and Halo and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but uh, that'll come out in due time. It's Christmas break, I'm done with college classes for a while, so I'm going to be sitting here thrilling my, my thumbs for like three weeks. The raw stink of, of possibility. Figure that at least do something productive with it and just me. do something fun. Record myself playing a few games. Uh, I'm probably gonna finish this game in the next few days. I'm just gonna go really through all the missions. Now, then do the Dead Rising thing. Uh, I don't know if I'll do Metal Gear Solid then. But they'll definitely be coming out sooner or later. So if you find this and you actually enjoy me talking to a Is microphone for a few hours and you don't hate my accent or my voice or anything like that. But most pirates uh, please check this out. Like, subscribe. Uh, it'll be fun, I promise. I'm not as boring as I sound. But I shouldn't worry about being waylaid by pirates, truth be told. My ship is small and I have nothing of immense value. Sugarcane and its yields, molasses, rum, that sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his little legs hanging from the little cardboard box. Well, yes. Yes, I suppose that's true. Shorten sail! Get off the squad! Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. My crash and tire. Oh, fuck. Let's get moving. Oh, Saved it. Let's get the fuck out of here. This game is absolutely beautiful. You're a natural sailor, Duncan. I did a decent trick at the helm some time ago. Two years before the mast as a privateer. Dash my buttons. Your life seems a grand one, if I may say. So full of adventure. How marvelous. I've seen my share of strangeness. He looks like a beaver. That guy looks like a beaver. Fantastic work. Very promising. Welcome back. Hello. Well, your numbers look good. 
Now let's make sure we can break your brain, all right? I need you to move. Her hairstyle is weird. Lights, just here. Look up. That's it. Down. So far, so good. Let's get you up. So, welcome to the Sample 17 project. Before you get started, you're gonna need this. There you go. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Hello, bonjour. C'est bon? It works? All right, let's take a walk. Your file says you've done some memory research before, but not to this extent, which is surprising. You're very good. The data streams are very stable. Yeah, it's kind of hard to talk and not talk because he, they, it's not an actual cutscene. It's like playing Bioshock. Impressive, right? This building is barely six months old, but Abstergo Entertainment has been a studio for a few years, since 2010. Maybe you saw Liberation? That was our first title powered by Animus Tech. That was just the tip of the iceberg. Soon, we'll be unveiling commercial Animus servers for the whole world to enjoy. They'll offer passive experiences, of course. Edited versions of real history. But only the exciting parts. And we think we found the perfect subject for our first full-length virtual feature. Caribbean Pirates. So that's your gig. It'll just take a minute, okay? Well, thank you, Nancy. Is that Bonjour Rebecca? Nancy. I think that is Rebecca. Bon. That, is that, that's Sean, right? What the fuck are these two doing here? Why are they working in Abstergo? Hmm. Alright, I guess we'll find that out later. Let's, keep, let's go. This is for you. The primary tool of our trade. Your communicator. Power it up and give it a look. It's pretty slick. You might have yeah, noticed minimum. that security seems a What are we on about? Alright, well, I'm not gonna read that. Get the fuck out of here. Light around here? That's because your communicator is your key to getting around. Like I said, this game is still fucking beautiful. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? See that flashing wireless signal? It means you're hooked up to the elevator. I'll let you do the honors. We're headed up to the Sample 17 studio, second floor. All right, let's get this shit over with. I don't like the fact that I'm a first person random dude that's just in, in Desmond's memory. You ready? I feel like that let's was go. a cop out from a writing perspective. Ah, there's the boss, Olivier Garneau, our CCO. I'll introduce you. Bonjour. Salut, Mélanie. Ça va bien? Well, thanks. Have you met our new hire? Just started today. I haven't. Bonjour. What project? Sample 17, the Kenway line. Hey them, Connor. Edward, the pirate. Ah, arr, yarr, so awkward. <laughs> Very exciting. Welcome aboard. Uh, Melanie, can we talk in your office for a minute? Just let me get this one settled and I'll see you in five minutes. C'est bon. Nice to meet you. So? This is the Sample 17 floor. We're diving into the memories of one very generous donor, Desmond Miles. We're pulling all the best stuff from his DNA. Around. And hopefully one day, we can forge some fantastic experiences from what we find in there. Check your money maker like somebody about to pay him. Can you scan that? Hmm. 
That's interesting. It's all set up for you. I think I'm just gonna walk around a little bit more. I think the idea is that you're supposed to love your job enough to put in the extra time. Don't say that looks like a map for somewhere. Back in the lobby, I heard some people talking about being like in Egypt or feudal Japan. I really hope that's a reference to what they plan to take the game. I'm, I would love an Assassin's Creed in feudal Japan. That would be incredible. I would throw my money at the screen when they announce it. And this is through existing broadcast. Absolutely. What's this about? Ah. Alright, guess I'm i guess I'm just gonna go to the computer now. Have a look at your workstation. I know, calm down. This pair of legs is John, one of the wizards in IT. He's just fixing something for you. Not fixing. Calibrating. Calibrating. Right. So here we are. Your very own Animus workstation. This is all yours. So sit back, relax, and find us some good footage. If you need any hints or tips, the Animus is loaded with tutorial programs, so you'll have no problems. And I'll check in on you later. Happy pirating. This would be an amazing computer. Hmm. I wonder what those things mean. All right, oh, let's get this shit started. Welcome to Animus Omega, Abstergo Entertainment's proprietary ancestral memory research tool. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about how to operate your Animus console, please contact your project supervisor, Melanie LeMay. You have been registered as part of the Sample 17 project. Your primary research target is Edward James Kenway, born March 10, 1693, Swansea, Wales. Calibrations complete. All signs normal. All systems optimal. Extra neurotransmitters activated. It feels kind of weird going from like the cool animus back to the Abstergo shitty. I apologize in advance for the noise I'm making. Right, sorry about that. I, I kind of dislike the fact that we, we took a step back from the, the cool animus, the one with the that Rebecca and Sean used with Desmond. And we came back into the Absurgo one. I just don't like the look. I like the lines and the weird geometric figures that the other animus did, had. Absurgo look, just looks ugly to me. But whatever. I guess I'll have to suck it up. No, 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 just putting on a friendly face. I shouldn't want to be mistaken for a pirate again. Right. Flash rogue like yourself must be cautious. to think Spain and England were at war two years ago, isn't it? Here I am, bartering with Spaniards like they were my cousins. Nothing wrong, Duncan? No, it's nothing. Sand in my hampers. So where's the best squad in town? I'm dying for a quick kip. Or a siesta, should I say. Um, I'm just headed to uh, a public house now to meet some merchants. I could, I could show you the way. Well, lead on. I hope you'll tarry a bit while I conduct my meeting. It'd be a great relief to have a man of your stature nearby. In case of a misunderstanding. I can hang no, about. Shit, we moved. Okay. I might have a drink. Finish <laughs> drink. 
Gracious! What a revolting sight! But they don't take kindly to pirates here, do they? Wonder how many stolen reals bought these men this perch. Hola, ladies. You don't know these women, do you? No. They charge money for that kind of privilege. A few dozen reals for every hour of knowing. Keen to meet them. No, goodness no, I'm a, I'm a married man. Married man of their forte, mate. <laughs> Yeah, so I ah, no never mind. A of personal defenses. <laughs> I should acquire a blade for myself, Duncan, just as you have. This rusty razor is nothing to admire. Even so, I appear a mere kitten walking so close upon you. Perhaps a small dagger would suit me. Let's see what he's selling. Maybe I'll buy a sword too. We'll both jump rank. Oh, we'll be quite the pair, you and I. Twin devils. <laughs> Lend us a few reals then. I did save your skin. Ah, uh, of course. Cheers. Sword, sword, sword. Oh, that is a sexy sword. Wait, where can I get that? Oh, it's a sexy sword. I'm kind of pissed. Where is it? Oh, those things can get fucking expensive. Alright, fucking fine. That's a better fit for me. How do you fare? I had only enough for a small knife, sadly. Still, it'll do in a pinch. Oh, Papa Duff. I have led us astray, Duncan. Oh, no matter. I'll get us a better view. What are we looking for? Uh, a tavern. A sort of courtyard in So, yeah, uh, I'm a, I'm a college student. I just started my freshman year. And I just got done with finals That's how you tell a true about sailor. three days ago, and uh, that was pretty good. I'm not doing anything for the next three weeks. Kind of, it's kind of weird being in college. Really, you spend your whole life building up to it. People telling you what to expect, and then you get there, and then it's absolutely nothing. That fucked me. Did not synchronize. God fucking damn it. Uh, then you get over there in college, and you don't know what to expect because so many people, so many people told you so many different things. Uh, when you get there, you're just kind of hoping it's not bad, or hoping it's bearable. And college isn't that bad. Yeah, it's still a place where you go attend classes and you do what people tell you to do. But it's a pretty good place. Pretty top. You start working with the people that you want to work with, and then you go to a few classes and you find a few teachers press. that you like. We're not far. And then, oh fuck! Hang tight! Alright, come on. Stop or I'll chase break your knees when I catch you. So yeah, college isn't that bad. It's just annoying as any school plays is. God damn, the son of a bitch. Square me little fucker, isn't he? Here I come! Oh, come on. Nope. I don't wanna have to stab don't you, but I will. You the Fuck me. <laughs> Fuck. That was dumb. All right, well, sorry, you guys have to see that. All right, get over here. There we go. Are you gonna be a bitch? Are you gonna run? Yeah, I'm right. No, fuck. No, I'm not. Oh, I'm supposed to loot him. Son of a bitch. Alright, get over here. Oh, 
Alright, come on, come on. Give me a little bitch. God damn it, fucking Edward. Just stop jumping around in places. So, fuck. Son of a bitch! Catching up to you. Just stop running, please. Just stop. Alright, guess I'm stabbing him. I try to be civil about it, but he asked for it. He's getting fucked. God damn it! Thank you. you robbed the wrong man. Fucking finally. Fellow with dangerous friends. Hey, there's a cat. How you doing, little buddy? Aw. Could do this all day. Come over here. Fuck you, little fucker. Alright. God damn it. Alright, so I'm still getting the hang of this. Haven't, uh... Haven't played, this, haven't played any Assassin's Creed game in a while. Still getting the hang of it again. Just for funsies. It's really funny when you know the language that they're talking in the game. Oh fuck, that was close. When you know the language they're talking in the game, it's it's kind of weird. Because uh, you know exactly what they're saying. And then, then you always hear my friends like, what? Oh my god, what are they saying? Are they saying something bad? And then it's just like, nah, just dumb things. I just love understanding them. Makes me feel happy. Wait, four games to do that. Wait, no, not four. Yeah. Wait, four games will be able to do that. Take your time, I'll be just here. Fancy meet no Welshman deep in Dago country. I'm English myself. Biding my time till the next war calls me to service. Lucky King George. I'm in a piss pot like you flying his flag. Oi! Skulk! I've seen your face before! Use mates with them pirates down in Nassau! Shut your fucking gob or I'll fill it with shot, you hear me? <laughs> Edward, is it? <laughs> hey, I warned him! Why would be a pirate game if not for a bar fight? Without a bar fight. Want to dust up? I'll give you one. Oh shit! Come on, lads. I've seen bigger arms on a third. <laughs> I do miss the, the old fighting. Like this, this kind of fighting is it's like reminiscent of Batman Arkham Asylum things, but I do miss the old, uh, the old fighting system. One more. Come on. I still think the hardest fighting system in all the Assassin's Creed games had to be Assassin's Creed One. Wow, it was fucking dreadful. You got in a fight with more than four guys, you would get fucked up the butt hole. You just get fucked over. Hmm, bitch. You're not leaving me. 
cut you off. Perro Inglés. No, fuck. That's not what I wanted to do. things are brutal. Alright, guess I'm popping out. Goodbye, bitches. Fuck. Mm. Bitches can't climb, can't you? Oh, that's convenient. Alright, let's do one more mission to end part one. So what's your favorite Assassin's Creed game? Feel free to look. Oh, fuck. Oh, nice. Got it. Ooh. Feel free to comment on the comment <clears throat> on the section down below uh what what what, what the fuck? look at that guy just hanging out <laughs> oh fuck can i hit him Damn, he's just hanging out oh son of a bitch <laughs> See if I can kill him. Hmm. Well, all right, that took care of that. Oh shit. Alright guys, I'm actually gonna stop part one right here. Join me for part two if you like. Uh, subscribe and like the video, do all the things that you do when you find someone that you like on YouTube and all that shenanigans. And please join me for part two whenever you can. Thank you for watching. <laughs>